Hello everyone, this is your host Latino Role Model, Damari Samos, and tonight we have Daniela Leon. Daniela, I met Daniela at the Women's Network. We have the Women's Network the last Friday of the month. So last Friday of the month, East Orange Community Center. We're located behind the Alafeya Library on East Colonial Drive, close to Alafeya. Back to you, Daniela. Tell me your story. Where did they come from? Because I, honestly, I don't know much about you. I have seen some of the videos of you and your uh -huh. sister working with businesses. Right. So we'll get to that, but tell me, where are you coming from? So I am from Ecuador originally. Okay. So this is the small country between Colombia and Peru, just in case you don't know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's uh, from Ecuador, Quito, the capital city. So I arrived here like two years ago. So how was life in Ecuador? Well, uh, it is like a normal city. Quito is a huge uh, capital, capital city. Mm -hmm. also, so it's like being here, but the reason why I chose to come here in the first place is because there was a lot of uncertainty on the political side and the economical side, so it was just a decision to move on with a new project of life, starting something new here, so, but uh, Quito is a great city, we are over 9,000 feet from above sea level, so it's a very high city. So but it's nice, a lot of mountains, and the climate is perfect, it's just, just a spring all year long. So as a child, tell me some of your memories. What do you remember when you think about Quito that is back in your head right now? Well, my family and my friends. So I have all my family back there. It's a, my mother is back there, my father is here with my sister, but my mother is there, and my grandmother, cousins, aunts, and my friends of all life, they are there, so I, I have a happy life, I have all these people with me, so and my past jobs, experience, so everything was there, so it was a nice experience being there. So back there in Quito, did you feel someone had an influence in you, you know, in school, in the profession that you have right now, in your ideas to come to the United States? So actually, yes, I have uh, a great role model in my prior uh, past experience. So one of my boss, uh, one of my bosses, he was just a great entrepreneurship. He was the partner of PricewaterhouseCoopers, so I really admire him. And then I have another boss that he's just like an angel. He came here to guide me and to be with me all this time. But I have a lot of people behind me, and that went with me all my journey. Mentors. My professional and mentors, yeah. So, so in Quito, you went to high school, and did you did you went to college there, or you, you came here? What? So back there, um, I studied in a in a girls' school all my life. So twelve years or thirteen years only with girls, and then I went one year to Belgium. I lived there for one year to learn French. I love it because I got to travel all Europe, and then why you didn't stay there? Well, because it was only like a, a program where it's an, an exchange, exchange program. Okay. So it was the last year of high school and then that's it. Oh, that's awesome. It was very nice. I love it. What did you, what would you like the most of Belgium? Traveling. So Belgium is a really small country, but it's in between the, all Europe. So you can go everywhere very fast and easy. So it was just an amazing experience. One year living there, learning French, a new culture, new friends, new people was an amazing, an amazing experience. If you can bring something from Belgium to here, what would that be? Well, chocolates, <laughs> <Is it? laughs> beer, those are good things, yeah. So was it easy for you to learn the French? Yeah, it was. So in one year you really get to learn. So in that time I was better in French than in English. So. I, I have kind of forgotten my English, my French, because I don't use it too, too much, but it is not difficult. It's very similar to Spanish, too. So how do you learn the English, too? Because you, you speak very well English, and you said you've only been here for two years. In my school, uh, well, we have uh, English since the very five years. So from five years to 18 years, you always are in English, teachers and classes. And then my, in my, the university that I went also was part of my signatures to have English. So I have been in English world all my life. So you said you went to um, university back then in Ecuador. So what did you went to school for? I, I went to, I did, a, I have a degree on international business. So, and then after that I have a master degree in operational management. Both of them I did back there in Ecuador. So I just love learning. How I was your goal with those two degrees? 
The first one, uh, when I was studying international business, I was like more focused on political, so exterior, political exterior. But I didn't do anything about that because when I went out of business, out of school, I just started my work on on companies. So I changed completely my perspective, and then I start uh, working a lot with companies, large, large corporations. And then I got my degree in operational management, which is the operational side of the business. So I have always been involved in businesses since I started my, my professional life. So what has been your professional experience? Uh, consulting. So the very first year it was... Um, in Ecuador? In Ecuador. So okay. I was with PricewaterhouseCoopers for several years doing different type of projects. So I did cost optimization, process improvement, efficiencies, uh, a lot of different things on these large and companies. And this is the private sector, isn't it? It was mm -hmm. in the private. Oh, well, they had also clients in the, in the public sector as well. And then, um, and then I worked for a company that they, they develop photovoltaic projects, solar panels. So I get to, work, to travel all around Latin America. They had a lot of projects around Latin America. And then I arrived here and I started my action coach business. Why, why you started with that, that idea? Because and I, not going to a company? Because I wanted to be by myself. So that was the goal when I arrived here. Like, okay, I want to start something new by myself. And I just love it to be a consultant when I was a consultant. So I was looking to new opportunities. And when I saw that what action coach was doing with the small businesses, I thought it was great because I really know how hard it is to small businesses to grow and to succeed and to, at the end, 80% uh, of them will close before five years. So there's a lot of opportunity helping them and helping the community by growing the small businesses. So what is the name of the company? It's Action Coach, but this is a franchise of uh, Action Coach, which is the biggest firm in the world for business coaching. So we get to help 16,000 companies every week all around the world in more than 60 countries with more than 1,000 coaches around the world. So it's a great network and we get to help a lot of different businesses create new jobs, create more income, create more profits. So it really helps small businesses. So what, what does um, someone should expect when they call you, they contact you? What are the expectations and what is the process that they go through to get the help? So our main goal when we start the program with any company is to help them build a business that works without the business owner. So what we want is that those companies, they can survive alone, let's say, because the business owner at the end, he needs time for new projects, new investments, or just he wants to receive a passive income, or he wants to retire. So we help them to create this company that is like an oil machine that is well oiled, so it works everything without him. So uh, the very first thing that we have to do is just sit down with the business owner, and understand really where's your business, where do you want to be, uh, which is the gap in between, all right? So how long it will take you to get your goals? Even if you want to sell your business, to franchise it, or just receive a passive income from it, we need to understand where you want to get with your business, and we will help you in that path. So the coach will go from point A to point C, whatever they decided to do. How affordable it is? Because I'm pretty sure people who are watching the show are thinking like how affordable it is. As a, a small business, I'm going to be able to do it or not. Because I'm pretty sure some of the small businesses are starting. Because mm -hmm. the one that you mentioned, you know, about retiring, it's, it's probably stable and it's trying to phase out of the business. Yeah, so we have different type of programs. So we are really focused on the small businesses. So. We have programs that feed like every need, I would say. So since very small programs to large ones, mentorships and other kind of. So startups, well, we can help them is sometimes with their business plans, but not only doing the business plan, but growing with them since the business plan. And then for more st stable companies, we have mentorship programs. So there's a lot of things that we can do for any type of small businesses. At the end, we always want to have something for them, even if it's only a book. You know, this is something for you. You need to read. You need to understand these concepts. That's a help for them. So we can start from there to all the type of So programs. you mentioned it's a, it's a network. So where does this um, coaching, what is the name again? Action Coach. Action Coach. How, where did it start in? So Action Coach started at Australia. The founder is from Australia uh, 25 years ago. But now he, the main office is in Las Vegas. 
So we have that our main concentration of coaches and businesses is here in the U.S., but we are Latin America, Asia, Europe, Australia, so we are all around. So we learn from all those experiences. We have all the systems and all the tools that we need. Everything is developed for the small business. Who's your ideal client? And who's the client that you're like, this is not a good client, this is not a good fit, because mm-hmm. we have tried before? Yeah, so a good client for me, actually, it's uh, business owners who want to who want to go to the next level. Okay. Probably they have been trying so far, but it's like they have a lot of obstacles in the middle, so they want to try something different. So they are done, they want to try something new, and we can help them with a lot of new strategies and things. This sounds like when lawyers, when there's someone trying to... Um the case, the legal case, and they want them once they have um, been rejected. Uh-huh. Like when they have a disability case, mm-hmm. they don't want to take it at the beginning because they know that most likely they're going to get rejected. So it sounds like that. So you want someone who's already tried, who has experience, who has been in the business for some time. Who is this client that you're like, this is not a good client? So let's say that a good client is someone that has been on the market at least one or two years. And you try to save them to get to the five year and pass. Yeah, because at the end it's like they already know their market, they understand their business. When they are just starting, sometimes they are trying a lot of different things. So once they pass that, they have established and they know, understand, so okay, that this is where I want to go. So a little bit more focused and orient, oriented to results. So that being said, that a client that probably is not a, the best fit is someone who just started. Someone who has no idea what they're doing. Yeah, so there's a lot of programs out there in the society that will help these really startups. So you probably can refer them right. and then bring they them will come back. back. Yeah. Okay. Because again, there's a lot of resources back there in the community, like Prospera, that you know, Prospera, mm-hmm. the Chambers. They have a lot of these tools that you can use it. So I think that's a great stage for startups. And then they they want something more focus on them, really understand their main things and problems that they can come to me. Tell me about a successful case that you had recently. Wow, there's there's a lot of different successful cases. Let's say I have I have worked with lawyers. So lawyers and as any other technician or professional, they 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 are very good at what they do on law or However. accounting. <laughs> However they don't know about the business side. So by working with us, what, they, what we make them do is to not be only the technician of their business, but to see the company as a whole, so to be more strategical. So by that, they increase profits, double their profits in one year, or they can take vacation, because a lot of them, they haven't t- taken a vacation in two years, three years, four years, so finally they can go two months away. So that's huge. What would be your recommendation for women that are looking at you? A lot of women probably from, from your place, from Ecuador, from, you know, our, our place is from Latin America, and they look at you and like, well, she's succeeded there. I can't, I can't do it. What would be your recommendation? And those are going to be our last words. Yeah, so it's not to have any fear. I know that it's not an easy path. So the best way to get where you want to go is by being an entrepreneur. So don't be scared. There's a lot of obstacles in the middle. But at the end, if you have a lot of passion and commitment, you can go there. And even if you're scared, still go ahead and do it. Right. Thank you. It has been a pleasure to have Thank you. Thank you. Thank I you will much. have your, her sister later on. Okay. This has been the Maris Ramos for Latinado Models. Thank you and good night.